If you just drink zero alcohol, it will lower your blood pressure by about four to five millimeters of mercury. I know people who literally will drink a case of beer a day. You just think to yourself, aside from the carbohydrates, the amount of alcohol that your liver has to work with, and once your liver goes, you're gonna have a hard time maintaining any real uh, blood pressure. They often say that, oh, only in moderation, but what does moderation mean? Moderation means one to two glasses of wine per day. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far if you really want to lower your blood pressure, then you really should be stopping the alcohol. That's that's my advice. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Okay, I have to apologize for this video that I just made. This was a small take of a larger video, and I didn't realize how much that this would upset people when I said, don't drink alcohol. And I think it needs a further explanation. I still think that if you really wanna lower blood pressure, it's best to stay away from alcohol entirely. But let me explain the reasoning behind what I'm saying. And it's based on the research as well as some of my observations. Now, a small amount of alcohol, just a little bit of alcohol, can help you relax depending on the type of alcohol. It will actually stimulate nitric oxide production in our body. So temporarily, when you first have a, a small drink of alcohol, it will actually lower your blood pressure temporarily. But then your blood pressure will actually rise after that. The research is about 12 hours. So if you have a small glass of wine, then it may reduce your blood pressure for some people for about 12 hours, but then your blood pressure goes back up. My observation though is that the majority of people are not drinking just a wee bit of alcohol every day. They're drinking a lot of alcohol. Okay, just got, got distracted there. Everybody's got e-bikes now. Have you noticed that? Isn't that the weirdest thing? I mean, as a cyclist, I'm okay with e-bikes because anytime people are on bikes, they're not running you over with their cars, but basically everybody's got a motorcycle or a moped now. Anyway, I got distracted. Here's the point, is that the majority of people are not drinking a little bit of alcohol to improve the flavor of their food. It's they're drinking a lot. Alcohol is considered a poison to your liver and the liver is there to clean your blood. So the healthier your liver, the better able that organ is to actually clean your bloodstream. And when you use alcohol chronically over the long term, it actually raises your blood pressure. And I will put links down below in the description if you want to read further about this, you know, you don't have to believe what I say. You can do your own research. However, here's the important thing about alcohol and blood pressure. Depending on the research, you can make arguments for both. Alcohol lowers blood pressure. Alcohol raises blood pressure. I mean, it just, it's so frustrating because depending on what you read, you can essentially find research to support any argument that you make. The majority of the research that says don't drink alcohol, actually, then people will say, well, that's, that's biased research and things of that nature. So you, you just can't win. But ultimately, common sense would say everything in moderation, which to some degree makes sense initially However, if I were to say to you, meth, cocaine, heroin, I don't even know what other drugs are, blow, well that's cocaine, isn't it? I don't know. The point is that none of those drugs should be used at all in moderation. In fact, the amount of, that you should be using those is zero, right? So is alcohol healthy or is it not? And I'm not against people drinking. I'm just pointing out the facts that if you drink alcohol on a regular basis and are, you don't have a healthy relationship with alcohol, your blood pressure can go up five millimeters of mercury. And if your goal is to get healthy, 
and to reduce your blood pressure, then why would you not do everything in your power to reduce your blood pressure? I have done numerous Zoom and phone consultations with patients all over the world. And if you have a question regarding blood pressure, you're more than welcome to call my office. I actually have an office. I actually have a phone number. You can actually reach me. I'm not one of these YouTube doctors where they're unreachable, where you can't even find where they practice or what their phone number is. They're only there on YouTube. I actually see real patients every single day. I've been in practice for 28 years, and we also not only see patients in my office, but we actually see patients on Zoom and do phone consultations. So if you want that, just find the information on my channel and contact us, and we'd be happy to set up a Zoom consultation. But, it's, but the last Zoom consultation I did, which was interesting, the person wanted to know what supplements to take and what they should eat and all these things, but then they finally at the end admitted, well, I'm kind of an alcoholic. And I thought to myself, there's no such thing as kind of. If you think you're an alcoholic, you're probably an alcoholic. And I said, how many, what do you drink? And he says, well, I, and then he explained uh, how much he drank. And I thought, well, your liver can't be healthy drinking that much. And thus, you're gonna have a hard time cleaning your blood. And thus, you're not gonna be a healthy, as healthy of a person as you could be. So that's where I still am standing my ground and saying, even though I get negative publicity or negative comments that say I'm wrong, the answer is if you want to be healthy and you want your blood pressure to go down, you have to do everything possible to reduce your blood pressure. Otherwise, you're gonna be on medications. Ironically, these medications are bad for our liver and kidneys as well. So it's, it, to me, it's a no-brainer. If you want lower blood pressure, you have to eliminate all the causes of low blood pressure, and chronic alcohol use may be a factor.